All right, whenever you're ready. Uh. Greetings, you scrib nibblers. I hope you're doing well. This is the Crack a Pack here on LRRMTG. My name is Graham, and I would invite you to subscribe or even become a member of this very channel. Today, we are opening a pack of World Wake. W World Wake. The one what followed Zendikar. And it was given to us somewhere. It wasn't uh, labeled, at least not when I found it. Oh, it's under the thing. <gasps> it was given to us by Jennifer and Cameron at MagicCon Minneapolis in 2023. You hid it. You made me go looking for it. I could have easily missed that. Very clever. Um, okay, let's get into some World Wake. Come on. Shite. I can't believe that's the first time that's happened. Did I catch them all? I'm a genius! <clears throat> I successfully avoided total disaster by catching the cards. Some of them are now out of order, but that's fine. This was right after we started playing, so I remember... Well, it actually was out when we started playing. So I remember this a lot of the stuff from this set, particularly uh, Scrib Nibblers. The Scribblers. I hope we get one, but I don't know that we will, because it's not uncommon. And first up, we have Surakar Banisher, creature type Surakar. Remember? Remember them? Remember all the classic Surakars in Magic? No? Anybody? No? Okay. Four and a blue for 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target tapped creature to its owner's hand. Five mana, 3-3, three, three, conditional mana war. Relevant creature type? It's not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, a Swamp. Those are the two cards that didn't fall out of the pack. Full Art. Remember, this was this cracked the whole thing wide open. For years, everybody was like, do that again. And now they do it all the time. Not a criticism. I love them. Speaking of land, Kalmy Garden. It enters tapped. And when it does that, you make a plant. A little zero one one green plant. And then you nurture it with like an Avenger of Zendikar. And then it gets bigger. And also this land taps for green. Cool. Fledgling Griffin. One and white for a 2-2 Griffin. With landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, it gains flying until end of turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. You get to hit hit them repeatedly. Grotag Thrasher. Four and a red for a 3-3 Lizard. Whenever Grotag Thrasher attacks, target creature can't block this turn. That's pretty good, actually. I guess that's red's variant of the card that we normally see in white, of just whenever this attacks, you get tap something. But that seems pretty good. The thing is, the Surikar Banisher and the Grotag Thrasher are both five mana. And if I recall correctly, you, you were dead by then. If I'm remembering this format, did World Wake like really pump the brakes after Zendikar in a way that made it able to cast five drops? Because I didn't draft a lot of it, so I really don't remember that. I do remember this card though, it's Groundswell. This was a go-to framework for a green combat trick for a long time. It was a single green mana, instant speed, to give a creature plus two plus two until end of turn. And then there was some sort of condition where it got plus four plus four. Now they do other stuff with green combat tricks, but for a while they were like, giant growth is too good. Plus three plus three for a single green, busted. But I'll tell you what we will do. We'll do worse up front and then better if conditional. The condition for this is play a land. <laughs> it's just landfall. If you had landfall this turn, it's plus four plus four. That's pretty good. I did infect nonsense with Groundswell, uh, and it was great. Kite Sail Apprentice, single white mana for a 1-1 one, one core soldier, and that's all it does unless you equip it, in which case it gets plus one, plus one, and flying, because the core care about equipment. I assume, like, flavorfully they care about equipment, but mechanically, equipment matter as a relation to core cards. The, the real core, it's... Um, I'm, I'm moving on. Twitch is two and a purple for a place to watch your video streamers. 
game game stream video streams <laughs> game streaming is what i meant to say why did i say video streamers what the hell twitch.tv slash loading ready run uh, we run it like a small tv channel rather than your standard um uh, Christ almighty. Um, it's two and a blue for an instant. You can tap or untap a creature, artifact, or land, but not in the order that I said them, and also draw a card. Sure. Next. <laughs> Brink of disaster. Two black black for a creature enchantment when the enchanted permanent... Oh, I'm sorry. Two black black for a creature or land enchantment. Whenever the land becomes tapped, destroy it. So it's the brink of disaster because it's like, all right, if we just don't move, we'll be okay. As soon as we tap, it's all over. Claws of Valakut. One red red for a creature enchantment and the enchanted creature gets plus one plus oh for each mountain you control and has first strike. Okay. That could make the creature very large. It is, however, a creature enchantment and they were not that great at the time because this is three mana two of them are red and surikar banisher is right there going i dare you to attack and i will bounce you oh explore just classic explore one in a green sorcery you can play an additional land this turn draw a card next huh another explore no hilarious jokes from 2010 hada free blade is our first uncommon hada i i i had a free blade once it was it no there's a way that this works sound off in the comments with your terrible joke i'm just gonna keep on trucking it's a single white mana for a zero one human soldier ally whenever hot a free blade or another ally enters the battlefield under your control you may put a plus one plus one counter on hot a free blade so if you got big ally deck and you just keep playing allies this will be a big one and then you will have hot a free blade but now you have a free brick of Plus one, plus one counters. No, see, it's still bad. It's not good. Because you can... This is how you can tell we don't write these. Oh, Bestial Menace! It's the Super Friends. Three, green, green for a sorcery. You make a one, one green snake. You make a two, two green wolf. And a three, three green elephant. And they look like they've just arrived through a portal at the end of Adventures. <laughs> it's just like everyone from Wakanda, all the Guardians of the Galaxy, an elephant, a wolf, and a snake... <laughs> Everyone's showing up. I fondly remember Bestial Menace. Ooh, a trap card. An instant subtype trap where you could do a thing, but you could do it for cheaper if they met the condition that sprung the trap, basically. Nemesis Trap is what I've got here. It's four black black. Exile target attacking creature. Put a creature token that's a copy of it onto the battlefield and exile that at the beginning of the next end step. If a white creature is attacking, you may pay black black rather than Nemesis Trap's mana cost. So I guess what you want is them to attack with two creatures and then you exile one of them and make a copy of it and use that to block the other creature. This seems awfully narrow to really be worth putting a six mana exile attacking creature into your deck but i don't know i th this this set must be slower than zendikar if it's not a lot of these cards are just very bad and our rare is ba -ba 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 -da. hey it's one of the creature lands it's celestial colonnade it enters tapped it taps for white or blue and for three white blue until end of turn it becomes a four four white and blue elemental creature with flying and vigilance it is still a land so you can turn it into a white blue sarah angel and smash and then still tap it for mana afterwards excellent also there's a rules tip card that tells you about allies and quests and for some reason allies is just a word and quests is in quotation marks because it is a nickname for a set of world wake enchantments that have two abilities the first ability looks for a certain action like having a creature you control become tapped and the second ability is the prize for completing the quest cool the back of that is an ad for duels of the planeswalkers available now on xbox live arcade good old duels of the planeswalkers i got a free xbox because of that game 
What are we doing? Oh, right, drafting. I think I'm just going to take Bestial Menace. I should probably take Celestial Colonnade, but I'm just going to take Bestial Menace. Celestial Colonnade is the most expensive card in the pack. The second most expensive card, and over a dollar, is Kelney Garden. And I don't know why. It's a land what makes you a plant, which is good. Is it because you can use that plant to like natural order or something? Like, is that what we're doing here? Is that why we want Kelney Garden? Just because it's a free, free creature? I hope that's why. And I just sort of figured it out despite my sarcastic tone of voice. Hey everybody. That's going to do it for this episode of the Crack a Pack. We really appreciate you watching. We appreciate you being here and watching and leaving a comment and all that stuff that's free. But also, if you want, you can further support us financially at patreon.com slash loading ready run or by becoming a member on this channel. We hugely, hugely appreciate it. Thank you so much for continuing to let us do this. And who is us in relation to this show specifically? It's me, Graham and James on tech and... Matt edits these with Jordan and Heather gets them online. And thank you all so much for being here. And we'll talk to you next time.